Now, I have to say, if you find yourself tempted to chase these trades, and it just so happens that they pay off for you, and they do, they're paying off. Right now, if you're chasing some of them, and you catch them right, they do pay. I have to say that you have to be very careful that you're not rewarding yourself for doing something that is not what we teach. And you have to be cautious that chasing trades, for the probabilities of success, they're less than 50%. Uh, and so for that reason, that's why you have to be able, when you chase trades, to hit those big home runs. The less probability of success, obviously the more points you have to get out of the trade. And if you're willing to do that, and you're willing to do it with, you know, let's say with our methodology of having very tight stops, then if you get one of these that, you know, generate uh, 100 points for you, let's say 70% uh, of the time they don't work and you take small losses, you need to do the math and see if it's, you know, if that's good enough, if you can handle that. But that's why we don't chase trades. You know, I just find overall very, very difficult to chase trades and really to find a, a signal that, that gives us a better than 50% confirmation or, you know, alert that it's real. So, you know, this is why, again, uh, we stick to our usual scalping and what we want if we're going to stick to, uh, you know, to try to hit home runs. And to do that, you find a market that needs to be ranging. When you find a market that settles and starts to range, then hopefully we can trade that range, pull out points, and if it works and we just get it at the right time and we have no risk in, in the trade because we've already pulled points out and we're already in positive territory and it does take off, then that's the kind of trade we want. But once there is a motion in play, I just find it very dangerous to chase. And so what we do is we wait for the market to settle once more. And then once we get the settle of the market, then we start looking for the usual setups and so forth that, that we like. And we understand the cycle of the market. We just need to be patient now and allow it to de develop itself.